What's going on here? A disaster! Can't I just have a normal day of ferrying the dead? <sighs> Tell me what happened. All of these souls have had their coins stolen. Assistant, you have to find the thief and get the coins back so the dead can cross the sticks. Why don't you just let them through? <sighs> I know you're new around here, but that's not really how we do things in the underworld. Besides, Hades would burn me one toe at a time if I did. All right. I'll find the coin thief. You hear that, everyone? My assistant will find the coin thief. Why would anyone want to rob the dead? Isn't it obvious? The coins are used to pay me for passage across the sticks into the underworld. Do you suspect anyone here already? So many pass through, and honestly, you all look the same to me. <sighs> Come on, think. Well, there was a merchant and a politician who acted strangely. They were the only ones not storming my dock. I'll come back when I have news. I'd start looking in the Passage of Souls. It's where the first coins went missing. Good luck. With all the thieves in the underworld, I'll need it. Someone buried something here and then came back for it. Must have been in a hurry. Empty coin purses. The strings have been cut. How am I supposed to find anything in this dirty, horrible wasteland? You must be looking for your stolen coins. How do you know? Maybe you're the criminal who came to admire their handiwork. I'm looking for the thief too, but I won't help with that attitude. Fine. I found nothing here myself anyway. You must remember when you last had your coins. Of course I remember. I was walking through the valley with the rest and struck up conversation with a merchant. So arrogant. Still wearing his jewels and gold. Won't do much for him here. <laughs> when I reached the docks, they were gone. Did anything catch your attention? The merchant I spoke to seemed nervous. He asked if we really had to pay the ferryman. Perhaps his coins were already stolen? I think I've got what I need. don't look like the usual people I see passing through here. I'm not dead, if that's what you mean. I'm searching for something. Makes two of us. I'm looking for the coins I lost. Uh, they must be around here somewhere. Think of when you last had them. I remember wandering with the crowd of other people. We were all moving towards the dock. I don't remember where we came from, but as we reached this place, the crowd halted as a man, a politician, I think, got up and addressed us. Where were you when you realized your coins were missing? At the dock. I was going to pay the ferryman when I discovered they were gone. 
Did you see anything strange during your travels? Mm. Only the politician. He was moving away from the docks while everyone else was moving toward them. I have to go. Good luck in your search. of my coins? I found this dagger. Remind you of anything? Aha! That's what I felt. It nicked me when they cut the strings of my purse. So did you see who did it? No, I was too focused on the politician addressing the crowd. Captivating man. I think I've got what I need. This was cut while the politician was speaking to the crowd. Oh, you're back. Did you need something? Does this dagger mean anything to you? Hmm. I didn't see anyone with a dagger. I have to go. Good luck in your search. Bracelet, but it's broken. Must have snapped when its owner was digging. I was starting to worry you'd got lost. I didn't think your kind were capable of worrying. There are many things you don't know about us. Like how impatient we are. Have you discovered who stole the coins? So, the dead were robbed while a politician gave a speech. 
One witness thought he looked suspicious because he was wandering through the crowd, away from the docks. Ah, yes. Even I noticed him. But a rich merchant was asking about paying the toll. I found a nice dagger that must have cut the coins out. And I found a gold bracelet near the hall that hid the coins. The plot thickens. It was the merchant. He stole the coins. A greedy merchant. Typical. Come, let us deal with him and be done with this. So you are the one who took the coins from these people. This is nonsense. No one should have to pay to enter the underworld. Spare me your platitudes. You stole because you're greedy. These people had nothing in life. They need nothing in death. If I can't live a comfortable life, nobody should. Hades, so nice to see you. Whatever brings you to my shore? I could hear this ruckus from the bowels of Tartarus. What is happening here? This man stole coins from the dead and then threw them into the river Styx. Mortals always seem to find new ways to surprise me. I'm glad you're finding this funny, but these people had coins for fair passage and now they don't. If they do not have coins, they cannot cross into my realm. That is the law, Harold. They were sent here with the coins as law and tradition state. They deserve to be granted passage. Why don't we let our friend here decide their fate? These people were robbed of their chance for peace. They deserve passage. Well said, Alexios. They will be granted passage to the underworld. And what of him? Feed him to your hounds. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> Sometimes we have to make difficult choices. To be able to do so confidently is a rare trait in your kind. I've done it before. I'll have to do it again. For such a hopeless fleshling, you've come a long way. Now that Hades is gone, there's something you should have. Thank you, Aaron. It's a shame you have to go. You've been a good assistant. I hope you find the answers you seek.
Alexios returns. Victory written across his face. Where's your brother? Not here to settle any bets? It's already been settled. He lost. The gates have their guardians. Haron's lost souls have found peace. Now, tell me what you know about the staff. <laughs> I never promised you that. I promised to fulfill your destiny. Mastering this staff is my destiny, and you're going to show me. You were never in a position to bargain with me. Your life was mine. The moment you killed Cerberus, I could have had anyone place guardians at those gates. Truth is, I needed you to grow a custom. What are you talking about? Oh, did I not mention? I have a fifth gate. And you're going to spend the rest of eternity protecting it. That is your destiny. I didn't bow to your wife, and I won't bow to you. <laughs> oh, you'll fucking bow. Shame it has to be this way. You would have made an excellent addition to my dead hero collection. Collect this!
<laughs> I don't see what's funny. You act like any of this matters. But you're a prisoner wherever you are. Victoria, what did you do? You guys okay down there? Cut the comms! This has gone way too far. I'm shutting this down. I can handle it. You're not acting like yourself. You're acting like a child. Look at you! Can't you see what the staff is doing? Plugging into Themos' memories. Letting you run rogue in the underworld? It's the bleeding effect. It's hurting you. You need to stop. Give it back, now! No! It's me or the staff! You have to choose! Let go! It's not worth it! This is for your own! Get up, Victoria! The air of memories would never do this. Do this? Victoria was my friend. It wasn't me. This won't work. I need time. You think I did this on purpose? It was the staff, Alethea. I'm not a bad person. I don't kill. The air of memories in my vision had foresight. Your reaction was entirely human and inhumane. I fear you'll learn nothing from what I've created for you. I am the heir of memories. I can control the staff. Listen to me. I, I know I can do it. That is not for you to decide. I decide your worthiness. Though it may be too late for that. Fine. I'll go for a while. Just... Don't let anything happen to her, okay? And don't leave. Please. I'll be back. I'm not going anywhere. Damn it. I'm sorry, Victoria. But I can't quit now. <laughs> 